But yeah, thanks for watching. Please share the stream one more time. Should use House 30 GG. Um, it's Fight Night 125, oh. School's Over Edition. We're gonna finish out the night with, uh, again, Black Rose and rematch coming up for you guys. So hang tight. I'm not going anywhere. We'll be back. I'm gonna bite that hand off. And we'll see you around. So. Hola, everyone. Ooh, all right. It's always tough getting a fro in this. <laughs> Are we actually jumping right into this match? We didn't even oh, get a chance. Yeah, yeah we we're jumping straight in. There's no chillin' smash. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. All right. So here we go. We have Moogie as Corin. And is this T? I think. No, no, it's not T. Oh, it is T. No, no, no. I was right. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've heard about him. I've heard about him. He's a really good fox. All right. No, this matchup. I played Moogie in this matchup a few times. Uh, you really just want to focus on whip punishes uh, against uh, Corn because if Corn spaces her arrows on Fox's shield, it's safe. Like, especially back air. Back air, she kind of pushes herself away, and it's just really hard to punish. Just even with the dash attack out of shield. Uh, obviously, you got to mix up your recovery as much as possible because Corn has a lot of ways to beat side B, and you know. Uh, it's rough. Like, if Korn gets a read on your recovery, you can die really early. Oh, yeah, for sure. I see that Fox is actually playing really aggressive, and it's actually working out for him. Of course, yeah. You can be aggressive against Korn, but it has to be smart aggression. You know, like, right, he, what he's doing right now, he's staying in here in his face, but not necessarily pressing buttons. Not until he's sure that he can get a hit. Yeah, that's true, because a lot of Fox players that I've noticed, they like to kind of just throw out hitboxes, no, just that like, what if, <laughs> that what if it's going to hit, but it seems that Thexen really knows um, when exactly to get those hits in. Like, exactly, like, there, he's doing yeah, a lot see, of empty jumps, he's exactly. definitely baiting out to see what options Moogie is going to throw. And yeah, that's saw Moogie really threw out two rolls there, I'm wondering if T's going to, uh, pay, he's paying attention to that. All right, let's see. Runs in. Oh, what did I say? Back air. You got to hold that shield. Yeah, back air. You back can't punish it. It's such a safe option for Corrin. Oh, yeah, it, it kills decently early. Oh, oh he got wow. smash build. <laughs> That's not, that doesn't happen often. But That was a pretty low side view. That was pretty low. Ah, there it is, though. Right. Holding onto the ledge for too long. Your invincibility does not last as long when you have higher damage. Alrighty, so four minutes into the game. Both players down to their last stocks already. Right, great options for Moogie. Yeah, it looked like Moogie was in the position to punish that dash attack. Kind of decided to play it safe. I don't blame him because Bexon has been kind of checking him Ooh. a lot. And you saw that right there. He read the side B. If he got that near to neutral B, that was it. That's the game. That neutral B kills really early. So. All right. Yeah, another thing about this matchup, uh, Fox. Uh, really needs to wait in between his combos sometimes. Like you saw there that Moogie was able to nair out of that up tilt string. If you, uh, if you wait for the nair, you can get an even stronger punish. So. Oh no, he didn't mean to do that actually. I'm guessing he meant to turn around grab. Oh, once again, the side beat. Able to get away with it though. So this is basically even because. <laughs> it's pretty even. I, at this point, I think both players can actually kill each other. At any moment. All right, there's no I'm trying to go for the two frame once again. Oh my goodness, oh, wow. man. Again, <laughs> uh, I, th I think Corrin's side B has projectile priority, but that's it. Wow. That's it. Back air. Back air is such a strong tool for Corrin. Again, man, you got to be you gotta be aware of that. Hold exactly. your shield. You got to hold that shield. All right. So definitely really well rushed into game one. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fast. Really fast. I don't think we even did proper introductions. Yeah, so how are you feeling tonight, Black Rose? I'm doing great. It's a little tired myself, but these matches always get me really excited. I know, so. right? Adrenaline, adrenaline rush. Exactly. <laughs> All right, game two, back on Smash, really. I mean, actually, no. Uh, town and City, town yeah. Town and City. Sorry Again, about that. Uh, <laughs> a pretty obvious counter pick, you know, Fox kills at the top pretty early. You know, Hopper strings on the platforms. You know, and platforms can help his recovery, which is, you know, pretty linear. So. Exactly, yeah. that's it. Multiple things that help Fox in this matchup. So far, though, it's not looking like that. 43 down, uh, at least like 40%. All right, but I'm really loving the use of the lasers from Fox, especially when he's far into neutral. Just laser it up, just rack up that damage. Yeah, you have to use it at a certain distance. It's not like previous games where you can auto-cancel them. So. That is true, that is true. Oh, there we go. See what I'm talking about. Wait for that Nair. 
That's, cor that's Korn's main uh, combo. Uh, oh, wow. Combo breaker. Once again, like you said, they're using perfect pivot lasers. Yeah, he's deciding to play it a bit more defensive, and I like that decision. Yeah, because, I mean, game one, the aggression was working. He was doing smart aggression, but it seems that Moogie's kind of adapting to that. Mm -hmm. So he's got to change up his Near the end, that's what cost sure. him the game. He ran right into that back air when he wasn't, uh, he wasn't keeping his guard up. See, you, you cannot punish that back. You try to show grab. It doesn't work. Ooh. Unless you power shield. You can power shield and buffer a dash attack to punish it. But other than that, uh, nope. 50-50, uh, nope. Doesn't bite. All right, Dexon's really trying to fish out an option for Moogie here. Oh, if he got the land hitbox up down there, that would have been it. I'm, I'm sure you know about frame canceling. The mechanic frame canceling. Basically, if you, uh, for some characters, uh, if you land with the aerial at the... Whoa, whoa hold up. No! Oh. And Side B is going to do it. Uh, I'll, I'll keep this brief, but uh, when Fox gets the landing hit of down air, uh, when, when his opponent is not shielding, uh, it gets less landing lag, his down air. It gets reduced to like 18. Uh, oh, 18. Okay, okay. Um, well, I'm a Rosa main, and that's the same thing with Rosa when she does land with Nair. Luma spins around, but she doesn't suffer any land. Oh, yeah, that's yes. called a lunar landing. Lunar landing, yes. Okay, so if it is it similar to that then? It kind of. The thing is, uh, Luma it doesn't have like a grounded state. She's technically always in the air. That's true. So that's why she's able to throw out an aerial, unlike Rosa. When, you know, if Rosa's near the ground, she's not gonna, yeah. no hitbox is gonna come out. That's true. But anyways, uh, even game. Even game, both players down to their last stocks. Fox at 21%, Moogie at 2%, but Moogie seems to have a pretty solid game plan. He's, oh my god. He is counterattacking every option that Fox is throwing out there. Fox is really trying to get those lasers out to at least get some sort of damage, but... Yeah, the thing is though, Fox's lasers only do 1%, and Moogie knows that, so he's just like, I'm not gonna rush because I can do the same amount of damage that he did to me with just one combo, so... Exactly, yeah. But you saw, he, he's about to take the lead, percent lead. Yep. Moogie looking pretty strong here. Yeah, Texan has got to play very careful here. I think he's really trying to fish out for. Yeah, he's if he gets caught at the edge and gets hit by any strong move, he's done. I feel like he's trying to fish out for bears too. Ooh, it looked like Moogie was about to punish that. It was, but it was it was actually a really good option for Moogie to kind of just wait and stay patient because immediately Fox was up to him. Oh, he didn't get the tipper hitbox on the si on the side B, so another lease on life for Dexon. <laughs> Alright, well options you choose regular getup. Moogie decides to back out, keep stage control. Oh, there we go. Uh, still living though. Ooh, Fox is still here. Alright. Nice is wait, the there it is. is. The nice wait. Very good execution. Hey, you saw Moogie try to cross him up there, and he just dropped shield and up tilted him. Turning the base. Fox. All right, so one one, definitely a very heated match and a really crazy turn of events. It really looked like it was in more in Moogie's favor, but Dexon turned it around. Yeah, and again, there's more pressure on Dexon because Moogie. As long as he gets Fox to at least 120, all he has to get is a grab, whereas Fox has to land exactly. a raw kill move. Fox doesn't have any kill throws unless you count forward throw at the ledge, like at the very ledge at like 160 or 70 with rage. Alright, so it seems that Moogie has chosen a Lilat, and this stage is going to be pretty difficult for Fox because... Yeah, recovery. Recover... Um... Or not? I guess this is not the stage you want to choose. Yeah. I was about to say, I mean, like, it it kind of made sense because. That actually scared me for a second. I'm like, wait, did he just <laughs> SD in the first place? I actually did kind of get scared too. Wow, okay, cool. But, I mean, like, if he did pick that stage, um, Corrin does have a lot of platform presence against Fox. Mm -hmm. A lot of options to really, really. Oh, we're okay, going to FD. FD, all right. Here's the thing. I understand why he picked the stage. It's a lot easier to trap Fox's landings, That's but the same is vice versa, you know? Yeah. Fox can easily trap Korn's landings on the stage as well, you know? And Fox is one of the best characters at trapping landings. But I feel that he wants to stage with no platforms, because if you notice, especially from last game, Dexter was able to use and maneuver around the platforms. So now that that's out of the picture, Moogie can actually get in a lot more hits. He can get in a lot more confirms on Dexter. There's nothing to save him, basically. Exactly, there's nothing to save him. Oh, right now, uh, look at what I'm talking about, though. He's, you know, he's getting these landing traps. But Boogie, nice patience there, but still going to get up tilted. Yeah. 
Alright, here you go. Off stage. Mookie not able to cover the side B. Yeah, Dex is really trying to get in some distance against some Mookie. Alright, let's see what landing option. You just didn't decide to go to ledge. Smart decision. You do not want to get hit by any more moves. He's in up smash percent now. Just missed the timing there, but able to compensate for that with up tilt. Mm, DI is questionable there. Still alive. Oh, the air dodge. Oh, he still lives. He's still alive. Nice. That's probably like 1% from dying. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Mugi able to air dodge there. Oh, <laughs> but that is not going to do it. Wow. And Fast faller. And unfortunately, up throws kind of staled out. So I think Mugi's going to have to rack up that percentage until he can get I think it, it'll over. still kill only be, if he pummels like twice. We'll see. We'll see. You know, a grab is definitely a threat. Fox is in more danger oh, yeah. than Corn because see, like that grab, it doesn't matter. He just gets stage positioning. It's that's still important, but he doesn't die. You know, Fox dies if he gets grabbed. Oh. Oh. Wow. Once again, the up tilt catching Mugi off guard. Oh, no. oh perfect pivot up tilt. Oh, wow. Okay. I like that. Just keep him at the ledge, man. Even though Fox uh, can't doesn't have kill setups at this percent, or reliable ones, I should say. Uh, as long as you keep them at the ledge, you'll eventually kill them. <laughs> exactly. But uh, yeah, that's there what I'm talking about. There Grab. There we go. go. All right, so Noogie at a at a really high percentage. Oh, uh, oh, he wow. did he hold down? No, I, I think he just uh, the hitbox went past the ledge there. Yep. It did. Yeah, T's fishing a bit too hard for this landing trap. He's taking a bunch of damage because of it. But yeah, I'm actually liking Dexum's use of side B. It's really catching Moogie off guard. It yeah, really is. He has to be careful, though. Yeah, yeah, he, he has does. to be careful, though. Because uh, I think Moogie will catch on to it the next time. It depends on the distance. You have to pay attention to the distance he uses it. But right there, you saw Moogie roll at that time. Immediately. And if Moogie dropped shield, that actually would have put him in a very bad spot. There we go. They got it. There we go. Catch with the jump. Use the perfect pivot. Put him in the right position. There's the taunt as well. And amazing. Just just amazing spacing and just timing and everything from Dexum there. Yeah, I like that little perfect pivot before the other. Exactly. <laughs> so stylish. <laughs> oh, the side B. Read on the side B. Taking so much damage. All right, space back there. There's the dash attack. I'm actually able to punch what Moogie does afterwards. Right, side B is definitely going to be a threat for Thexum here. He has to be very careful with this. It seems like Moogie does have the right read, but he's not timing the air right. Oh, no! He will make it back with up B and side being back on the stage very safely. That could have been really bad. Really, really bad. Regular get him. Yep. Moogie's just going to go for some safe shield pressure. Yeah, Moogie's definitely going to use a lot more side B. In this instance, he's going to want to play it super safe. So we're, we're going to see a lot more bears coming out, a lot more side Bs come out All from right. Moogie. Yeah, excellent DI right there on that side B. Oh, this is it. Oh, great. Though, that me that DI on that upper by Moogie was so good. He, he wasn't even able to get a follow-up uh, exactly. attack. Thing. Oh, hell. Wow. The hitbox slipped past the ledge. Another side B clipping Moogie. Oh, he's at that percent now. Up smash will kill. This Moogie. much rage. Yeah, Moogie has to be careful. There it is! That's the game! And that is That it. is game! Wow! Wow! <laughs>